I'll show you how to set up the boop counter prefabs on your avatar so that the boop counter can communicate with your avatar properly. First off, import the Uni package included in the uh, zip file into your project. Once you've imported the package, make sure that you also have VRC Fury installed as all of the presets require VRC Fury. If you do not have VRC Fury or do not want to install it, you will have to merge the effects controllers, parameters, and menus yourself into your avatar. You can get VRC Fury from vrcfury.com. Once you have all the packages installed, look at the value factory boop counter one folder. Boop counter presets are going to be located in the boop counter presets folder here. Particles in this folder and sounds in this folder. Let's set up a boop counter prefab on our wicker beast. Now, this is going to contain all the available avatar prefabs. If your avatar is not in this list, that's okay. Later on, we're going to be setting up a generic parent constraint prefab here, which should work on most avatars. If you would like to skip to that part, you can find timestamps to it in the description. But for now, we're going to be setting up a wicker beast preset here. So, find the folder, expand it, and you'll see all these components in here. What we're after is this prefab right here called boop counter. If you see a missing script warning here, this is because you do not have VRC Fury installed. And it's okay to remove that missing script if you do not want to have VRC Fury installed. Otherwise, you will need to have VRC Fury. Some presets are going to have special instructions in them. Like for example, the Rexorium. We have a Rex readme here. That tells you special things that you need to do to install this properly. Please follow these instructions for the boop counter preset to properly work on your avatar if your avatar has these instructions. Our regular base does not have these instructions, so we can simply go ahead and install this. So, what we do is we need to find the head bone of our wicker beast. We can do that by expanding the wicker beast root object, finding the armature, expanding that, going to hips, spine, chest, neck, and head. The armature hierarchy here might be different for your avatar, but the idea is that you will want to find the head bone. Once you have the head bone, drag the boop counter prefab into the head bone text here. Like that. If Unity complains about something like this, for example, you're dragging this incorrectly. Make sure to drag it into the text right here, not somewhere in between, but into the text. Now, once it's here, we can right click and unpack the prefab. Now, our boop counter here contains a proximity contact and an on boop object. The proximity contact is going to be the thing that's going to be doing the boop detecting. As you can see, it's currently way off and not aligned to our nose. And to fix that, what we need to drag into the root transform here of the proximity contact, the head bone. And as you can see, it's properly aligned. Some presets may not have this proximity contact, and that's okay. Because if we don't have the proximity contact, that means that we're using the already existing contact of the avatar. We'll be going through the Naruto Dragon just in a bit to showcase that. Now... Once you set up the root transform of the contact, you will want to take a look at the on boop object. This object is going to be enabled once you have been booped, and it is going to contain the sound effect and the particles that you want to play. If you want to preview the particles, we can enable the object, click on the, on the star particle here, and press play. If you're not happy with where this these objects are, you can move around the star particle sound effect, but it's best to just move the whole on boop object to where you want this to be. And it's always good to double check because you might end up in a situation where it's like way over here for some reason. And that's not good because we want our particles and sound effects to appear on the nose. So make sure that everything is positioned properly in the location that you want it to appear at. If you want to customize these, we'll be walking through the customization of these in a different video. You can find the link to it in the description. Now, once you're satisfied with that, make sure that the on boop object is disabled before uploading. And that's it. You can now upload your avatar and it will be ready for the boop counter software. Now, I mentioned how some avatars may not have the contact. So for example, our Nardo Dragon here does not have that. So if I go to Nardo Dragon scene and then find the Nardo Dragon preset here and do the same setup as we did before, find the head bone, drag the boop counter in, unpack. As you can see, there is no contact, 
That's because the Nardo already has a contact here. And VRC Fury will do the required uh, combination, the required work to make this boop counter that already exists on our avatar work with our prefab here. So all you have to do is make sure that everything's aligned. Let's say we want this out just a little bit more. Okay, and done. And that's it. We can upload our Nardo now. Now, let's say that we do not have a Nardo preset. What do we do then? Well, we can use a generic parent constrained preset here. And the way we use this, it's very simple. First off, we need to drag the boop counter preset into our avatar root right here. So now our preset should be at the floor of the avatar and the transform should be all zeros, except for the scale, which should be one. Next, we can unpack the prefab. And now we're going to want to parent constrained the boop counter to the head. We already have a parent constraint here. We just need to set up the head bone here. So let's find the head bone and drag it into the parent constraint. Now we're going to want to position the boop counter to be somewhere around the nose, something like that. And then we can adjust the size of the contact here using the normal scaling tools and normal transform tools. So I'm pressing R to switch into the scale tool right now and W to go back to our transform tool here. So I'm going to scale down the boop. And you kind of want something like this, where it's just like slightly poking out. Not too much, but slightly poking out. Great. I like that. So now I'm going to go into the boop counter object here. Press activate on the parent constraint. And now, as you can see, we are unable to move the parent constraint. And if we move the head, the boop will move with the head. That's great. That's what we want. And now we need to adjust the on boop object here. And this is the object that's going to be activated once the boop, uh, once your avatar has been booped. So this contains the uh, sound effect and the particles that will play. Now, this may not be properly where you want it to be. It might be way off in the distance. So you want to make sure that it's right up to the nose, somewhere around here. That's a good spot, I think. If you want to pre preview the particles, you can press play. Great. Make sure that this is disabled before uploading. And if you want to customize the sound effect in the star particle, we have a separate video on that in the description. Great, this is now ready to upload. Once your avatar has been uploaded, you will find a boop counter uh, toggle inside your expression menus, which will let you turn on and off the boop counter so that you can pause and uh, resume boop counting, which will also pause the uh, sound effect and the particle in case you want to stop it for some reason. Now, by default, all presets that have a contact on them have been set up to be able to be booped by heads, hands, feet, and fingers. If you want to change these, you can delete any one of them by selecting them and press delete or add a new tag and selecting from one of these uh features here for avatars that have uh boops that already exist on them so the presets do not have a contact like the nardo over here uh you need to find the uh, contact on the avatar and now i know that the nardo has the contact on the head right here and we can see the the things that can boop Leonardo. And if we want to, for example, make it so that feet can boop this, we just add a foot here. And now feet will be able to be, uh, feet will now be able to boop Leonardo's snoop. 